when God says that he is all, that he's your all in all, when you tell God that he's your all in all, God wants it all. He wants it all. He wants all of you. Okay, so that means lacking nothing. That means that every piece and part of yourself have to be given to God. That's what that means. Okay, so you can't proclaim that you gave God your all and he doesn't have your body. Okay, which means your life. Okay, he has to have your heart, your mind, and your soul. And the soul is made up of the mind, will, and the emotions. God wants it all. He don't want he doesn't want just a part of you. Okay? He wants it all. Good day. What's going on, guys? So I want to um actually talk a little bit about uh what happens when you actually have the indwelling of God's spirit living on the inside of you. Um and I kind of want to take this on a different road if I could like a practical road if you want to travel with me um so basically what I'm talking about is is you have the indwelling of the spirit so heaven is on earth soul and spirit is married as one and but really it's spirit and spirit okay you'll get that later when you actually give up your life and actually live you know what I'm saying for God then the mysteries and secrets to his kingdom is given to you when you do that um, your life is even hidden in Christ. So a lot of things that you're going through right now, you might not even understand. You know, you don't understand, you know, why I went through this and why I went through that. God has all of those answers for you. Okay. But what happens is, is like your intimate moments, you know, that you have. The spirit is present in all of that. Okay. Um, and I could go real deep into that, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go that deep because, I don't want to I don't want to take it there. But just think about what I'm saying. The intimate moments, you know, things that you that you keep to yourself, uh, you know, that you don't tell nobody else, that you don't let nobody else in on, you know, your privacy. Pretty much you don't have no privacy when you have the indwelling of God's spirit. There is no privacy in your thoughts. There is no such thing as a secret because God knows the intricate parts of your heart. He knows your mind. He knows your thoughts. He knows what you think. Like, he's he's present in all of that. Okay, so it ain't no, oh, I thought this and then, oh, nah, let me, let me change my thought. No, God already heard it. He already caught all of that. So when you have the indwelling of God's spirit, these are some of the things that happens. Like you, you ain't no, ain't no privacy. Ain't no, ain't no, I'm going to do this, you know, behind closed doors and ain't nobody going to know the spirit is with you all the time. When you take a shower, when you use a bathroom, when you wipe, when you go through for the ladies, when you go through your uh, menses, you know, God is with you everywhere. The spirit is with you in all things and he sees and knows all things. Okay, um, you know, and so it ain't no privacy when you have uh, the the indwelling of God's spirit. Okay, he's there when you're putting on your makeup. Okay, when you're naked. Okay, uh, you know, for those who still don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, he's there. He's there. All right, and so these are some of the things that happens. When you have the Holy Spirit, I want to just kind of bring that to you um, because a lot of people, nobody has the Holy Spirit. And, you know, we watch, we see all trending throughout social media platforms how, you know, people say that, you know, they just basically debunk the Bible in so many words. They debunk that God is real. They debunk that there's a real such thing as the Holy Spirit in the indwelling. You know, they debunk Jesus. They debunk all these things. And it's really true, okay? There is a such thing as the Holy Spirit. There is a such thing as the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. But nobody has really actually given up their lives and actually, you know what I'm saying, taking God at his word, okay? And we have to do that when the Bible says, prove me now. Make God prove his word in your life. God wants nothing more than to make you a believer. He will make you a believer. If you don't believe, the Bible says that, when you lack faith, God is still faithful, which means that he's still him. 
Okay, and so these are some of the things that takes place when you have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Your whole privacy, private life goes out the door. Okay, be blessed.